There are so many awesome handbag trends this spring and summer season. Some of these in this video are going to be a little bit more of a fad, which I don't normally talk about, but I wanted to because I thought they were so much fun. And if you can find an inexpensive version, it would be a great thing to add to your spring and summer wardrobe. But if you want something a little more practical, a little bit more functional, I like to concentrate on trends that will stick around for a little while. So you will find those in here as well. So whatever it is that makes you feel good, which is what this season is all about, hopefully you will find something here. If not, hopefully it's just a fun video for you to watch and keep up with the trends for the season. Hey ladies, it's Jamie with Your Guide to Style and welcome to my channel. Today I am talking about handbag trends and this is making me very excited for spring. There are so many cool things out there. Like I mentioned, you're going to see lots of different textures, colors, shapes, sizes, all of the above, you're going to have great options here. So before I get started, I just wanna say, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna let me know your thoughts on these, please let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button, it's totally free. And if you're new around here, welcome. And I'd love to have you follow along with me. So let's go ahead and talk about the first trend. So the first one that I wanted to talk about and get out of the way were fun shapes. You're going to see lots of fun shapes. And this is the one that I think is a little bit more of a fad, but these shapes are just so fun this year. I can't get over it. And you are going to see things like this pearl bag. This is a little bit more of a fad to me. It's a little bit more expensive. It's a little more edgy. So. This is a fun option. You're going to see lots of things. And this was a great representation of what was seen on the runways, which is why I wanted to include it here. But you're also going to see fun shapes like this pizza slice and then the heart. There were a lot of heart shapes on the runway shows. And so even though it's Valentine's Day now and you're seeing a lot of them, I think they're going to continue. But the shapes were fun like this, but you'll also find ones that are more asymmetrical or just a little bit different than the norm. So whatever fun shape you find would be a great addition for your spring and summer wardrobe. The second trend I wanna talk about is crochet. And I mentioned crochet in my trends video for spring and summer, just talking about trends because it's a trend in clothing as well. And so if you wanna check that out, I'll link it above and below. But crochet bags, if you are not totally into the crochet clothing, a great way to add crochet would be in some type of handbag or accessory. And the handbags that you're going to see are just so pretty. Some of them are really colorful. You'll probably see some nude and white and ivory, so more neutral tones. Choose whatever works for you and you're gonna see them in all different shapes and sizes. So crochet, I'm still evaluating whether I think it's going to be a fad or not. I think it's something that is going to stick around, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure yet. And I do think that it's a great option if you wanna add something fun to your wardrobe and you can store it and bring it out again because it's definitely going to come back, it always does. So the third trend I wanna talk about is an easy one. And this is a trend that you see a lot of spring and summer season. So lots of texture, woven materials, straw, raffia, those kind of things. You'll see those keywords, but these are bags that are just fun for spring and summer. And they usually are strictly just a seasonal bag. So it may not be something you wanna do, but you can always find some that are a little bit less expensive and pull it back out because it's always coming back in the spring and summer. But the ones I'm showing you here, which we haven't always seen are some basket styles and you'll see some straw ones here, but there's also the green little plastic. I think it's just a, a plastic bag that I thought was really cool in a basket shape. And then the middle one, of course, is your straw bag with the bow. I think you're going to see bows and embellishments and different chains maybe with some charms and stuff like that. So we'll see, but these are really fun for spring and summer. And you're going to see these also in lots of different shapes and sizes. The next trend that I wanna talk about are shoulder bags. And this is inspired by the 1990s and the Y2K movement. So a lot of these bags are gonna have shorter straps on them. A lot of them have ruching and curved bottoms. The ones you're seeing here are more of a hobo style. It's a smaller hobo hobo style and you've got lots of options. So you'll find ones in bright colors, 
um, with embellishments on them or woven type straw bags, things like that, you're gonna see a ton of options here. And the next shoulder bag that I wanna show you, which is very popular and trending, is the baguette bag. And the options you're seeing here are available now. These are really, really fun bags. They're small and compact, and you wear them on the shoulder. And this, the baguette bag was actually invented by Fendi in 1997 and became very popular because they featured it in Sex and the City in the late 90s, and so this became the first it shoulder bag supposedly and so it's just oblong kind of kind of squatty in the body and has a shorter strap and i think these are a lot of fun and the one i really wanted to talk about was the gingham because gingham is going to be big for spring and summer it's on trend and you're seeing it on this handbag so i thought this was a fun option i think this is something that's going to stick around for a little while so be a great little bag to add to your wardrobe and the first one in blue i'll say is on sale right now for a really good price and i'm going to link all these below if you're interested in adding something like this that might be a little bit more of a trend than you would normally do so but really really good and fun options here this next trend has been gaining in popularity the past few seasons, and it is the bucket bag. I think we're going to see a lot of these this spring and summer. I could be wrong, but I found lots of options already, and you're going to see them from mini to large. They'll have a top handle or a crossbody strap, and you're going to find them in all different kinds of textures like you are seeing here. And I think this is a fun option. It might not be super functional. They are a little smaller and may not hold a lot of things. Even the large versions are a little smaller, but I do think it's fun. And if you wanted to add just something a little whimsical and a little more trendy to your wardrobe, this could be it for spring and summer. This next trend is the most versatile and functional trend that I'm going to talk about, so I hope you made it this far, and it's the hobo bag. So the hobo bag is characterized by its crescent shape, slouchy look, and longer strap that goes on the shoulder, and this is a trend that is oversized. So these bags are pretty big and slouchy, and they have a longer strap on them. But I showed you the shorter version earlier in the video, if you remember, that was a little bit of a crescent-shaped hobo style that had a shorter strap, which is more of your 90s inspired bag. But this one I think could be very functional if you're used to carrying a larger bag and have a very casual vibe with your styling. And I do think this would be a great addition and I do think it's gonna be around for a little while. So not only are we seeing the oversized hobo bags, we're also seeing very, very, very large oversized totes. And some of these are massive and you're not seeing the massive oversized ones a lot of places, but just a large tote is going to be on trend for this season. And I am seeing all kinds of different ones. And I wanted to show you this because I found this bag and I just thought it was so cool because it had the little clip on it for a hat because I think hats are fun to wear in the spring and summer. And if you're going to the beach or even running out and about and want a hat, sometimes you wanna take it off and this is a great way to keep up with it. And so I thought that was fun and it is a larger tote that is along with it. And then of course the fringe tote in the middle, the fringe is on trend. And then the last one I wanna show you is this big tote bag that is more of a woven material and it's pretty colors for the spring and summer. And so a lot of these bags you're going to see mixed with some of the other trends like I mentioned here. So I do think if you love an oversized bag that this would be a great option as well. I think this one too is a little bit more functional than the hobo bag because you'll have more pockets and different slots in it that you can put things. So do you think it is a lot of fun for this spring and summer? So now I'm gonna talk about the opposite of an oversized bag, which is a mini. There are a lot of mini options still out there. And I think that the mini bag has become very popular because people are carrying less things with them. Although me, I feel like I'm carrying more because I have hand sanitizer, wipes, a mask. So I have downsized my bag, but 
I carry a lot of stuff, it's kind of crazy, but smaller mini bags are good if you just wanna carry a few things with you and there are going to be lots of different colors and textures again, like you'll see here, a lot of them will have a crossbody strap which makes it easy or some just a top handle. And you'll also see some of the, uh, they used to call them fanny packs, now they're belt bags and I think they have um, wrist bags and things like that, not just the wristlet, but actually a bag that sits on top of your wrist, which I could not find any to show you guys, but you're seeing lots of minis out there. So I do think it's a fun thing if you want to add it. And I don't think it's going anywhere. The last trend that I want to talk about are sparkly party bags. And these are not just for parties. These are everyday shoulder bags or crossbody bags. You're going to find some that are clutches that are for every day. And adding a little bit of sparkle to your wardrobe has been a trend that's been moving into other seasons other than your holiday season. And so it doesn't surprise me that you're seeing a lot of these. And I could find several options. I put a few here for you because I just thought they were really pretty. You'll find metallics or colors. And so you'll have lots of fun options if you wanna just add a little bit of sparkle to your wardrobe this spring and summer season. So those are all of the handbag trends that I wanted to talk about for this spring and summer season. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you saw one that you liked. And if you have any questions about anything and want it to appear in my Q&A video, please put Q&A colon in front of your question below and I will address it on my next Q&A video. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time.